Lady Walker Show. Howdy, 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 and more howdy to you. Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker, my beloved peeps, and we have another Jim Dandy of a show in store for you. Beloved, we have royalties in the house. <laughs> we have royalties, okay? Community leaders, oh yes, in the great city of Canton, Mississippi pastor and co-pastor of Turning Point Fellowship International Church and y'all you got to get this here. Woo, they have been crowned Mr. and Mrs. Mississippi of 2019. Yes, I tell you what, welcome to the show pastor and co-pastor Pastor Joe Amos, co-pastor Kathy Amos. Yes. Thank you. Wow, y'all look marvelous. Well, thank, thank you for thank having you. us. Y'all are doing so much in the community. God is good. God has uh, just gifted us with a lot of uh, things to do, a lot of mandates to do. And so we're just grateful for this platform, uh, which really allows us to get out there, not just in our hometown, but throughout the state of Mississippi, we've right. been traveling and spreading the message of love and joy and just being in a position and a place where we can help other people. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now tell us about this. Look at you, I, like I said, royalties, okay? Look, tell us about the crown. And what, what are these called? The sashes. The sashes. sashes. Yes. yes. You would think I would know. I bought myself one some years ago. <laughs> Love this word, but anywho, tell us about the sashes, the crown, and all of that. Well, we were actually nominated uh, from a couple out of Homa, Louisiana. Uh, they have been following us for years in doing community service uh, in the city of Canton. And when the pageant opportunity came, um, we, the, we were contacted uh, through her to ask if we would accept that uh, position as a, uh, to hold the state title. And so the executive director of the Mrs. Black America pageant called us and she interviewed us, asked us if we would take the title. She had heard a lot about the great things that we were doing to bless our city and our community and she wanted uh, us to take that title. So we accepted, prayed about it, accepted it. And we really, when we prayed about it though, we really uh, felt the Lord was leading us to, to accept it so that we could help more of those who desire to do more in their mm -hmm. community. Right. Uh, we are the oldest couple in the pageant, but we have led and done the most community work. And I felt like this was a call of God to say, get out there and do more right. of what I've called you to do. I'm expanding your territory. You know that wow. song yes. called, God enlarge yes. my territory. So this is one of those things that I really felt God uh, tugging on us to enlarge our territory and go farther than just our local communities to do what it is that we've been called to do. Wow, well, yes. Pastor Joe, yes, give me your input on well, that. Thing is, uh, before the first of the year, the Lord had said that he's gonna do a new thing. But see, when we think, when I thought a new thing, I didn't think a new thing, <laughs> this new. So this is brand new uh, to me, and I guess to her too, but it helps us to uh, move forward in the thing that we were doing, even in a greater way. You know, like uh, each year we have uh, called Blessing Can Week, and we was doing it to the magnitude that we knew, but now it's even gotten greater. So it's, uh, we're gonna be doing that even pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. that is so good. And coming up in August is the continuation of? Yes, that's the Empowering Progressive Women's uh, fifth annual inaugural ball, where we honor amazing women in our community for the notable things they've done to contribute and build and pioneer and trailblaze for so many other women to come behind. So this is one of the 
the, the biggest events that we do every year. Uh, we bless them with proclamations from their city mayor and uh, proclamations from the state governor. Right. So we we love blessing and celebrating women. You have been doing so. You've been doing it for what things. four over four or five years. Yes, we started this in twenty. Uh, I think we did the first one in twenty fourteen. Fourteen. I think yeah, fourteen. Twenty fourteen yes. was yes. the first year we did it, and the city. And you were founder of it, president. Okay. Yes. Of yes. Of it? Uh, the the mayor at the time was Mayor Arnell Bolden. He asked uh, me if I would uh, start a women's initiative in the community just to celebrate women, to that help them to good. build yes. their self-esteem and, you know, show them that there's more out of life. You know, in Canton, Mississippi, uh, we have been labeled, mm -hmm. so many different labels. Mm -hmm. So this was one of those things that I have really wanted to bring women into a place of royalty and celebrate them, let them know that there's so much mm -hmm. more to grow into and to know about. And so we right. did that. and. They didn't want to leave the building, so <laughs> <laughs> after that first one, they were like on fire. Yeah. And I knew then that we could not stop at that one. So I prayed about it, and the Lord said, just make it an organization and keep it going. Yeah. And so that's why Empowering Progressive Women's Association is still around today. That's why we do what we do, and uh, we educate women as well. We want pe women to grow professionally. We want them to grow spiritually, uh, personally. And we can never stop growing. When we stop growing, it's time for us to go oh, home. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, we are going to come back and talk about, you know, what uh, qualification do someone have, has to become a member Okay. Of, uh, what is it, EPWA? EPWA. Yes. But uh, getting ready to take a break? Okay. Yep, so we have two more minutes. Okay. <laughs> we have two more minutes. But also, I forgot to make mention that coming up in October, it's, an, it's the national uh, Mr. and Mrs. Black America pageant, and it's going to be held in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this is the pageant where I am believing God that I will bring home the national yes. crown Amen. Just to the state Amen. of Michigan, and we're going to make our state proud. And we just need the prayers and the support of uh, our community. Okay, as for support, prayer as uh, monetary support? Monetary donations uh, are, are very much needed. Pageants, people don't know that pageants are expensive. Oh, I'm they pretty really sure they are. <laughs> so yeah. we, we have gowns to get and outfits to get, but we do have travel as well and hotel and all those things cost money. It does. Uh, we mm -hmm. are also doing a lot of work in the community, which also takes money. Yeah. So the most of the money is actually going to the community. Yes. Uh, the money that we've been getting in, we've been dealing with some domestic violence, uh, helping women in domestic violence and also breast cancer awareness, where we've been kind of contributing uh, finances toward uh, little tubes of lipstick and things of that nature just to put in their hands and say, you know, somebody's oh, thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so along with Empowering Progressive Women Association, we're doing that and that takes finances as well. So, you know, anything that our uh, community can do to support us, we really need the help. We've just been walking by faith and we know that the doors are opening up. But we also believe God that he's going to provide where he guides. So what uh, information, contact information, if someone is interested in supporting you in any area, any particular area or all the areas well, of your ministry? You can definitely give us an email at Mr. and Mrs. MS2019 at gmail.com or you can just contact us directly at 601-594-2330. Okay, well, we are going to take a break and come back and continue along this pathway of getting to know the leaders of right. Canton, Mississippi awesome. and around the area. Awesome. All, right. All right, beloved, we will be right back. Welcome back, beloved. I am here with Mr. and Mrs. Mississippi 2019, Pastor Joe and Co-Pastor Kathy Amos. Okay, now we still have a lot to talk about, but you've been pastoring for how many years, 23? Yes, at, in Canton, yes. 23 in Canton. years in Canton, right, turning point. We began that work back in uh, 96, mm -hmm. and the Lord, I really, when you think you're going to just to build a, just to build up a congregation, but I had got prophecies years before 
that was we gonna do the city. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> but I'm learning what it means now. Okay. <laughs> a lot of work to yes, me. Yes. Okay. In connecting different pastors and different churches together, that is one of the hardest jobs I've ever had in my life. Wow. We From all have different ideas. Walls, yes. oh. we've, we've had to bring <laughs> communities together for, I know, the past, what, 10 years? 10 years, yeah. And to deal with pastors from across denominational <laughs> lines, you know, Methodist, Catholic, wow. Baptist, yes. non denomination, and all of them have their own the theology, they have their yeah. own way of doing things. But to bring them together on one platform, yes, that's that's been challenging, but it's been a learning experience. Yes, Lord. And, and it's been a good experience. And we see more of it coming together this year than we have in the past. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. <laughs> and you also uh, volunteer at the nursing home. I've been that is something for what twenty-four years. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now that is something. <laughs> that is how did that happen? <laughs> to be a volunteer, okay, for well, that those many years. Uh, you know, you go there for one thing, it adds, adds. But uh, when I first went there, I went there to see what I could do. So I was doing two service a month. From there, it led now every day in the week I can come. Really? Because we go into the, the rooms where they can't come out, and we go in and minister to them and uh, to give encourage them. That's so nice. it's been a blessing. We go on outings and, you know, different outings like fishings and. Walmarts and what have you. That is so good. That is so good. So in the church, you are executive. I am executive pastor. And uh, actually in September, we'll be turning our church over to our uh, assistant pastor who has labored uh, diligently, Pastor well, Clara Thomas. Yes. yes, we're really excited about handing her the baton and uh, hoping and mentoring her because she's ready for this. She has been yes. equipped for this. Yes. And, this is her season to take it. And we're going to do more of what we've been called to do out in community. So we want to travel and we want that to is so good. plant other wow. churches and yes. do blessing uh, that is so in great. other communities. Oh yeah, so we're excited about also, that. Also, also you are a coach, not a you know, exercise coach, but the coach with John Maxwell. Life coach. Yes, life coach. Yes, uh, with the John Maxwell team. Uh, right. Been a life coach since 2013. And it has been a phenomenal growth journey for me. I mean, when I tell you that when I first started, I was in one place, but now, you know, they say when you, you know, if I knew then what I know now, uh -huh. my God, my God, my God, be a whole different. But I thank God for right where I am and what he has raised me up to be through the John Maxwell team and his mentorship. John is a phenomenal guy, and we love to call, we call him Papa John. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but John he's a great. has many books out there. Oh, yeah. oh, and you have one too. Yeah, yeah. The, and what's the name of the it? The Heart of a First Lady: Twenty-One Day Journey uh, from Struggle to Freedom. And it talks about when I did decide to go on and be a, a life coach. I was also senior pastor at Turning Point. <laughs> And uh, I, I just, I went through a lot of challenges with the church, mm -hmm. not understanding that pastors have to grow too. Say it, <laughs> <That was laughs> say it. <laughs> and, and at that point, I was really hurt. Uh, oh. I went through a lot of church hurt. And you hear a lot of people saying, uh, you know, I was hurt by the church, but they don't realize that pastors get hurt too. Exactly. Yeah, and so I went through that season of hurt and I thought I was gonna die at one point in time. And the Lord told me, one night in prayer, he said, you're gonna live? Cause I asked him, I said, am I gonna die in this process? I was so hurt and wounded by it. He said, you're gonna live and declare the word and the works oh. of me. And it looked like I was just gasping for breath, you know, just, okay, Lord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna do this thing. And after that, after I just allowed him to condition my heart to forgive and understand why people hurt Wow. other people. I really wanted to know and understand that because I knew that if I stayed in that hurt long enough and saw his face on why it happened, how do people do that and think it's okay? He was going to give me some wisdom so that I can help others. So now I'm in a position not where I'm celebrating women instead of, you know, <laughs> dealing with the hurt of they did this, they point things. No, I can celebrate you now. Yes. 
Wow. I can celebrate that them and so just good. move on. So I just thank God for the experience. I thank God for the growing throughout the processes that he took me through to write that book. Because it wasn't easy. Uh, I put every day, it's a, it's a 21 day book that I put uh, things in it from episodes of things that happened, not people's names, right. but to get the wisdom out of it and then give scripture and inspiring words to help other people to get past those stuck places. So it's 21 days of that. Mm -hmm. So you really had to go inside and pull yeah. that hurt even out and get yes. it out there on yes. paper, knowing the other people will be reading out, you yeah. know. Yeah, but like I said, and, and I no name. names so are in there good. or anything like that. Because you it's know just what, that experience. is how, that's one of the many ways on how other people can be delivered from right. what they're going through. Right. And it was, it was deliverance for me, so I know it's going to bring some deliverance for and healing because for like others. Because like you said, sometimes the congregation especially don't realize that pastors go through mm -hmm. things as well. Mm -hmm. They just don't broadcast it that much. Right. They are going through too. They right. are, the congregation isn't the only one that's going through things. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, you know, I'm just grateful that we, we got that book out of the way and looking to do many more books in the, in the seasons to come. Now, you said on break that uh, EPA EPA was getting ready to merge. Tell yes. us about that. Yes, Empower and Progressive Women's Association is getting ready to merge with a business empowered out of Destin, Florida, uh, who, whose founder is a state, Florida State Representative Mel Ponder. And we met Mel some years ago. We actually uh, belong to the same, you know, we have a big church covering in uh, Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, we met him and he was sharing his vision of business empowered uh, at that point and my baby leaped. When I heard and saw that presentation, it resonated so much with my spirit. So he and I, we got back home and we got to brainstorming about some ideas that God had dropped in my spirit. So we started blessing Canton Week from it. And from Blessing Ken, we started blessing women. We started empowering women from just from listening to his inspirations about uh, business uh, empowered. And so with that, we said, well, we've done this with Blessing Ken. We've done EPWA. Now let us just merge with him and, and let him come over in Mississippi. And I'm still president, uh, you know, and everything, but just to partner with someone of that magnitude yes. and merge two visions together to bring one big amazing program to the state of Mississippi for Christian business leaders Great. because it's all about pulling together our Christian businesses, networking and building and advancing the kingdom of God well. in the marketplace. Yes. All right, well I see Deborah's giving me the wrap up, because I was getting ready to ask Pastor Joe what was his, you know, thought on it. Okay. But we'll wait until we come back from break. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> my beloved peace, my guests are royalty, okay? Didn't I tell you, are you enjoying the show? <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, they are Mr. and Mrs. Mississippi 2019. Okay, so let's talk about the Blessing Canton Week. Yes. That's coming up. Right, Blessing Canton Week uh, is an annual event that we do every year. For, this year is September the 22nd through September the 28th. And uh, we have service during the day and night. On Sunday, we just have a night service, but Monday, we have some uh, fishes come from the schools. We have some come from the police department, the fire department. And sometimes we have ministers also during the day. Oh, but okay. most of the night, we have uh, two speakers, one from uh, different churches, uh, different denominations, mm -hmm. and they bring the word, and they bring their choir, or they bring praise team, or what have you. But we come together as one in the city. And also, uh, this year, we'll be going around blessing the business. We'll be praying over the business, right. each business that desire prayer, to, so that business will prosper. And also, uh, twice a year, we uh, do the city luncheon, and we feed the whole city of Canton that oh, desire to great. come in every department. So, <laughs> so to add to the mm -hmm. Blessing Canton Week oh, yeah. event, just to reiterate, during the daytime, we do luncheons. We serve 
the whole <laughs> community. Everybody who wants to come out, we pitch a tent in the courtyard yes, square of definitely. Canton, and everyone who wants to come out and hear what's going on in our community by our city mayor or the school officials or anybody who is given the platform to share information, our chamber businesses, all of those merchant leaders come out in the marketplace, right in the center of Canton. Yes. And we bless them with lunch, they get a chance to hear about what's going on. But this year we're doing a new twist, which Business Empowered will be culminating the event with the marketplace, the priestly blessings of all of the businesses. So we're inviting businesses from all over the state of Mississippi to come and pitch their tent in the Canton Courtyard Square yes. and sell their products and whatever they want wow, to do. The vending great. opportunities will be available. Uh, and uh, we just want to just lay hands on them and bless them so that when they take their business out of that marketplace, they'll take it out prosperous and empowered and inspired to do some great things to advance the kingdom. Is it the same contact information that you gave earlier? Yes, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, MS 2019 at gmail.com or like I say, you can always call us directly at 601-594 2330. Okay, you also have a consulting Coaching yes. and consulting. Yes. So yes. how, tell, tell us a little bit about that, just in case someone is interested in being coached by you. Well, I do individual coaching, but I also do business coaching for uh, companies, corporations, nonprofits. Uh, we, I go in and actually sit down with the team. If you have a business and you have like 10 employees and you want to get them out of a stuck place so that you can make like maybe 500 extra thousand dollars in a year, we devise a plan. We sit down and we see where they are, where they need to go, and then we get those team members in a position where we can excel them to where they need to go. So it's just been a wonderful experience for me to go into different places in the marketplace, but also uh, coach women that uh, maybe desire to write a book or mm -hmm. I've, we just honored a, a woman last night that when she came in she was just broken, broken to pieces and she doesn't mind me telling her story. She, her husband had committed adultery on her and she was uh, a devout Christian woman in the church and I tell you she was a broken woman and I had to really labor with her to get her out of that place to actually see that God had a calling and a purpose for her life. And this woman today, this happened four years ago, the woman today has written three books. Wow. She is a minister of the gospel now. Yes. And she is a pastor. So when I tell you that God uses, and I'm not bragging, but God uses me to get women out of bad places into their greatness, into their calling, it's a beautiful contribution and a wonderful experience. This is what I live for. This is my heartbeat. That's great. So uh, I've, I've not had the opportunity to do very, men, very many men, but I can, I can coach some men as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, yes, that door is open, yeah, right? It's open. It's open. I just, I guess, when, uh, you know, men see us in the limelight of EPWA all the time. Mm -hmm. so, so hopefully with Business Empowered Mississippi, yes. Be Mississippi, we'll have more men and so I can So it would be men. Be Mississippi yes. instead of? Yes. Be Mississippi is the short name we'll do business as, but the full name of it is Business Empowered Mississippi and it's going to be a great partnership for those that want to be uh, a partner and grow with us and take it to the great heights that it needs to be for our state. Now you also have a, is it a radio? Uh, I, I did have a okay. radio, I did have it back in April, we just only did one year contract okay, for that. Okay, gotcha, okay. Kind of fulfill that contract and uh, moving on to some bigger and better things. Right, because mm -hmm. evidently God is certainly opening opening more do doors for both of yes. you. Well, we may do something here on television if we yeah, exactly. Later, but we may even find a place on television to start doing That's right, things. because what mm -hmm. you all are doing is a great thing. Yeah. Now we got like three more minutes, so uh, let's Rick, well, I'm going to say ricochet back to um, uh, being Miss and uh, Mrs. Mississippi 2019. Again, the one that's coming up in October. Yes. Yeah. 
you can't, I mean, people want to support. They people, are more than welcome. People will be able to purchase tickets. Uh, you can go to the website, and I think the website is www.mmbapageant.com. Uh, okay. okay. I'm not sure about that. I think it's, is it, or is it spelled out, www.mrandmrsblackamericapageant.com. Right. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. And going back to the event that's coming up in August again. In August, the uh, e Empowering Progressive yeah. Women's uh, Inaugural Ball. Right. Okay. Uh, the tickets are at Eventbrite. They're on sale now. We also have vendors, uh, spots that are available. So for those of you that want to get out and honor uh, some amazing women, I could call some names out, but I'm, I'm afraid I might miss them. I we know there's so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> you I, I didn't call my name. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't you want didn't want understand I was under pressure. <laughs> don't want that. You don't have so many minutes. But the tickets are at Eventbrite, or they can go directly to the website of www.epwanetwork.org. How, how do a person, or how does a person become a member? of the EPWA? Well, because we're getting ready to merge and to be Mississippi, uh, we're we're alleviating membership and okay. turning it into partnership. Okay. And it ba basically is the same thing, but partners do more than just members. Members come and they kind of sit in and they get, 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 but partners, they get and they give. So we're gonna be uh, accepting partnerships at our luncheon, which is on July 22nd, Monday, July 22nd at McLean Lodge. Uh, we'll do the, the power lunch and the partnership lounge at that time. And uh, tickets are available at Eventbrite for those that want to uh, hear more about uh, B Mississippi and what we're gonna be doing to really advance the kingdom here, right here in Mississippi. Okay, now, do you all want to talk on anything else before we come to a close? Well, this has been That's a wrap up? That's a wrap up here? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, they giving me the wrap up. <laughs> I didn't know it went by that quick. Yeah, it was. It was. This it has was been fun. Great. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. I really enjoyed you, you two coming <laughs> out. Wow, y'all have great things ahead of y'all, and y'all are doing great things in the community. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Thank you. Well, thanks a trio. Thanks a trio. We appreciate you, <laughs> you Mrs. so much. Mississippi yes. 2019 and Bless Mr. You. Mississippi Thank 2019. You. Pray for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. In the meantime, beloved, there you have it. Check them out. Visit the website. Give them a call and support. 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 Got to go. It has been real. Thanks a trio for tuning in and. I will see you next time on The Lady Walker Show. Ta-ta.